right, welcome back to your balanced diet of teletainment and this blue fake. Mika, just let you know it in the date still being now the 18th day of July 2018. And today still remain Nelson Mandela Day. And that day where we come outside talks to make we emulate some of the values when Nelson Mandela actually um, come outside preach about. And it has to do with good democracy, human rights, respect for human rights and um, humans, um, equality and plenty others. So read more about Nelson Mandela to know more about the legacy we actually leave um, behind. But now time for us to talk about something we did very important for inside Wilbudo, Nigeria. The animation industry for Wilbudo, Nigeria, even like I say, we still never tap into RAM. In the international um, um, countries, international countries anyway, that they tap into the animation industry. So they, now we they recognize them. We they actually appreciate them, but you know that we have a lot of talented people down here in Nigeria. Well, we go actually meet a talented person right now, Imna Somto Ajuluchuku, an Imna animation expert. Good to have you in the house. Yeah, thank you for having me again. I know that this will not, this will not be the first time we actually get you yeah. inside the house. This is like the second time. Tell us, from that time to now, how is the animation industry in Nigeria? Um, the animation industry is growing um, rapidly. It's, uh, there are a lot of more players than before, okay. um, and it grows every year. There are more uh, young people interested in um, getting into it. Not even young people, but you know, people across media. You know, um, even um, these days when you talk to Nollywood directors, they're excited about having animation in their film because um, animation is more than just having like uh, cartoons for teenagers or kids. It's also um, animation these days comes as VFX, which can be infused in you know, live action films, like the Spider-Mans and the Avengers you watch. There's a lot of animation in it. Um, so uh, you know, the industry don't they grow small, small, and we're excited to you know, see where the future is going. Yeah, now you talk about side talks, say the industry, the industry don't they grow, but we are not seeing an evidence of them. Because if we talk, say, the Nollywood industry is growing, we they see them, say, even for cinemas that they play Nollywood movies, even for our TVs that they actually play Nollywood movies, how is the media embracing an animation artist? Well, just like Nollywood, Nollywood took a lot of time before it was recognized. recognized. But it, it doesn't mean that people were not making, you know, the Alaba boys are making millions of that industry way before people even woke up to it to so understand that, okay. Let's start putting films in cinema. Let's start distributing. Let's start, you know, this, these people are making um, 100, 100 naira CDs and running it on the streets quickly, you know. And um, so it shows that there was value. There was already an interest for it. Um, that's the same interest. It's just that for animation, the, the process to produce it is not as quick as um, pulling out a camera and just recording. But um, there's, a lot of, um, um, there's a lot of room for growth. And it's, you know, there's, it's just, it's still building, you know. And um, um, that's why, um, you know, things that we do like um, C3 Africa, for example, um, um, is important because then we get to bring other parties involved to come and see, um, you know, various sectors of the entertainment industry, aside, of, aside from um, film and TV series and, you know, web series, to show them that there are alternative forms of um, entertainment that people are producing and are producing very well at that fact. So um, um, it's, a, it's, it's, it's just going through its natural course, you know, eventually, yeah. But how easy or hard is it for you to sell animations done in Nigeria? Because mm -hmm. right now we consume more of the animations. What would they get from the international community? Um, well, we, we, it's, the selling is not the problem. The problem is in the production, really. Because um, the, the consumption is, um, um, you know, it can easily be, um, um, it can easily be consumed if the product is available, but because of the unavailability of um, complete products such as, you know, what we'll consume from the West such as Tom and Jerry or, or Ed, Ed and Eddie or Pop of Girls, they have it in so much volume, season after season after season, and there's consistent production, mm. and they even have dedicated networks for cartoons. You know, um, they've invested a lot of money into cartoons. You know, not investing money thinking of the how to make it back in five seconds, but you know, in, investing money for the long term. And it's paid back because they've developed franchises that were cartoons yesterday, but films today. 
Mm -hmm. You know, so you like um, jungle. Very book, true. Yes, which you know, now you yeah, feel actually what I'm for exactly. entire cinema as a film. Exactly, because you've seen the complete vision yes. of how it can be merchandised and franchised. Mm -hmm. You know, so we don't have a lot of entertainment moguls that have the finance to um, cause revolution in the industry. You know, and I guess most of our, our millionaires are not in the entertainment. Um, um, fields, uh, you know. Um, I mean, there are millionaires in the entertainment field, obviously, but not um, Dangote type millionaires that can um, put, um, you know, unlimited budgets behind movies, you know, such as saying, okay, let's make a $3 million movie, you know, or let's make a, and a $3 million movie by Hollywood standards is not even a movie yet, you know, because then the movies turn, turn up into $100 million, you know. But, um, yeah, so there's a lot of, um, there's still a lot of growth. So it's just in his, it's in his natural course. It's stepping up slowly, you know. So right now, how can we boost the animation industry in Nigeria? Um, um, a way that we can boost it is, um, is by more film um, um, financiers or, you know, content financiers um, um, taking a closer look at it, um, singling out studios that have been putting in work, you know, over time. And um, um, finally, um, uh, giving them the chance that they have been waiting for, which is to um, say, here's a budget for a 13 episode um, season, or here's a budget for a one hour, 30 minute movie. And, um, you know, take it from there forward. So um, basically, we just need more people to invest in the animation yeah, it's, industry. It's, 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 yeah, and then we have lots of production. Exactly. Is that it? And the skill base grows. But currently, the skill base we have is good enough to sustain the production level that we need. You know, there are a lot of studios out there. You know, there's, um, to mention names, there's Commotion Studios, there's Spoof Animation, yeah. there's Vortex Studios, there's, um, um, there's um, Basements. Um, you know, people doing quality work, amazing work, people um, whose their work have been featured in international festivals like Annecy, you know, um, you know, African International Film Festival, and you know, all these many festivals, you know, there's Ajibo Studios. Yes. You know, so it grows, and they're doing, they're doing, <clears throat> they're doing stuff that um, are relatable to us. You know, not just um, a cat, uh, a cat chasing a mouse. Yes. Or any of that stuff. Especially yeah. with this t new talk of some of the international cartoons being polluted with some kind of um, scenes and values where we know actually they actually um, mm. they follow for inside we do Nigeria. Yeah. So if we actually invest into the animations in Nigeria, trust me, we will get more morally driven um, content. Very yeah. good. So if person won't reach you, how can they reach you? Um, well, if reaching, reaching us is uh, just www.vortex.247.com. Okay. Um, Spell the Vortex, please. V-O-R-T-E-X, um, um, 247.com. Um, but a, a key part of you know, what we're trying to do currently is, is um, create a platform for um, trade within the industry. Um, you know, many a times, even the producers, we, need, we also need, um, even the producers of animation or film or TV series have the time of producing content, but have no place to put the content. You know, don't have access to meet amazing networks like WeTV or, or meet amazing networks like, you know, the rest of them. Um, but um, we've, we've, worked, we've worked hard to put together a content market which started last year, okay. um, which creates a platform for, um, for trade within the entertainment um, industry. So but if, I give you my content, you give me something in yeah, return. Yeah, so if you give me, I give you, your, you bring your content to the table, you know, there are buyers that are available, they look at your content and see if it, um, the format fits their TV networks. Okay. And, you know, um, a producer now can understand that, you know, once, twice in a year, there's a place I can go to and all and my hard it. work can be gratified. Yeah. Very true. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm so to Ajulu Chuku. If you want more information, just follow them on their website, www.vortex. Vortex. Can you give me the website again? Vortex247.com. Vortex247.com. Or yeah. you send them an email, somto at nations. Nature's oh, own email, wonder. An, an email, email wouldn't be that one. <laughs> okay, not that. Okay, no, give us an email um, address. Um, an email would be um, um, team at c3africanetwork.com. Okay. That's if you're trying to connect with the content market, okay. um, which is on Friday. Um, but if um, you're trying to connect with us on our animation, it's um, somto at vortex247.com. All right, so yeah. please send an email. All right. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch.
press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.